dielectric polarization uh, previously we have discussed this one in our very brief uh, now we let's discuss it a little bit in more detail dielectric polarization is a term given to describe the behavior of a material when an external electric field is applied on it a simple picture can be made using a capacitor as an example the charges in the material will have response to the electric field caused by the plates so you can see when you apply the voltage the plus and minus charges both are near to the respective field and uh, it's basically creating uh, when the, there's a moment of charge the, uh, then it will create a current which is called as polarizing current absorption current absorption current is actually made up of uh, made up of up to three component which decay at decreasing rate to value close to zero over a period of several minutes so absorption current or polarizing current is also sum of three currents the first is caused by general drift of free electrons through the insulation under the effect of electric field a guide to diagnostic insulation testing above 1 kV the second is caused by molecular distortion whereby imposed electric field distorts the negative charge of electron shell circulating around the nucleus towards the positive voltage the third is due to the alignment of polarized molecules within the electric field applied this alignment is fairly random in neutral state but when an electric field is applied these polarized molecules line up with field to generate or lesser extent so although polarizing looks simple but even polarizing current is some of three different currents that we have just recently discussed so here you can see uh, this is the case A and this is the case B and in case A this is the insulation and no voltage is applied but uh, when the voltage is applied you can see now the charge uh, is, is polarized there are all three kind of polarizing currents available here so this is uh, dipolar uh, molecule and this is the stored charge and this is the surface, uh, the current flowing through the surface of insulation is called a surface leakage. So this is the alignment of polarization molecule. And this is basically the curve. So here you can see the total current. And uh, you can see the charging current. And A is basically the polarization current. So you can see the polarization current is taking more time to decay as compared to the charging current but the char in, in some cases where the capacitance is small as compared to the resistance charging current can may take the more time but practically in most of the cases polarizing current is taking more time and uh, this is a good example that we have to wait for the reading to get settled so i hope you enjoy this topic thank you very much